Lucky Stage 3, Level 7. Some more exam questions. Choose two of the cards to give the lowest possible answer with your choice of operation. In other words, you can use either add or subtract, multiply or divide. That's what is meant by operation. Now, I reckon the smallest answer we can get is to take the two smallest values that are there and subtract them. That's what I reckon. Choose two of the cards to give an answer of a hundred. Well, ten tens are a hundred, but I can only use the card once. So how about ten divided by 0 0.1 because that is the same as 100 divided by 1 so that's my answer we're told that the mean of the above three expressions is 3x so I've got to find y in terms of x. So if the mean of these means if I add them together, so that added to that added to that divided by 3 that would work out the mean and we're told that it, that comes to 3x. The mean of the three above expressions that will work out the mean of the three above expressions and it says that it's 3x. So let's multiply both sides of this by 3, and that will give us 9x there. At the same time, let's put that 3x with that 3x and get 6x minus 10 plus y. Now I'm going to subtract 6x from both sides and get this. And now I'm going to add 10 to both sides and get this. So in other words, if this expression is 3x plus 10, adding those together and dividing by 3 would give a mean of 3x. Write a set of three expressions that have a mean value of 4x. Now there's possibly an infinite number of answers to this. So I've just got to find one answer that when I add three expressions together and then divide by three I get an answer of 4x. Now if I multiply both sides of this by three I'll get this. So these expressions that are on the top line must add together to make 12x. So let's write down 3x plus 7 Let's make that one of the expressions. And now let's write um, 4x plus 2. So that will give me 7x. Now let's make the third expression 5x. Because then the 3x, the 4x and the 5x will give me the 12x. i make that one minus 7. So this expression added to this expression added to this expression will give me 12x. Therefore that's one set of possible three expressions. There are an infinite number of correct answers to that. Still on the same theme, find the mean value of the above three expressions. So I'll grab these together And after I've added them together, I'm going to divide by 3. So I've got 2x, 5x and 5x, which is 12x. I've got 3, take away 9, which is therefore minus 6. Add on, eight, add on 12 is therefore 18, divided by 3 which means say each part of the expression divided by 3. So 12x divided by 3 and 18 divided by 3. 
Therefore that is the mean of those three expressions. A groundsman marks out a football pitch. He makes the pitch 93 metres long to the nearest metre. What is the shortest possible length of the pitch? Now if 93 is measured to the nearest metre, that means to say that it could be anywhere between that value and almost that value. And the way we show it is to write it like that. 93 to the nearest metre is somewhere between 92.5 metres and 93.5 metres and it can include the value of 92.5 metres. So the shortest possible value is in fact 92.5 metres. He makes the pitch 50 metres wide. To the nearest metre, what is the shortest possible width? So again, 50 to the nearest metre is going to be somewhere between 49.5 and 50.5. And it could include this 49.5. So the shortest possible value of the width if it's corrects to 50 to the nearest metre is going to be 49.5 metres. Now someone called Des wants to know how many times he should run around the outside of this pitch to be sure of running at least 3 kilometres. So if we use our answers to part A and B Let's see how far it is around the outside of the pitch. Now it would mean to say that the shortest distance around the outside of the pitch is going to be 2 of that plus 2 of that. That is the shortest distance it can possibly be around this pitch. So if we double this, what are we going to get? We're going to get uh, 185. And if we double this, we're going to get 99. We add those two together. We're going to get 284. So round the outside of this pitch is at least 284 metres. Now 3 metres, uh, sorry, 3 kilometres is 3,000 metres. So if we work out this, we'll work out how many times he's got to go round the pitch. Now I think we'll go for this being a calculated question. And the answer comes to 10.56338028. So, how many times should he run round the pitch? He should run round the pitch 11 times, I would say.